Hello and welcome to Beyond the Lens. Today we are going to look at how to change your footage recorded on a digital camera, i.e. a digital SLR or something like that, and have it look as though it was filmed on a celluloid camera, you know, proper film camera. When you film on a digital camera, when you look at it on the screen, it shows it in lines. So here we will look at it, look at this. So you'd have um, 10,080 lines from top to bottom. Celluloid, when you film on that, it goes by the grain and it's a chemical process. So it's, it's completely different. So consequently, digital film can look a bit flat. Now you're looking at this and thinking, well, that looks OK, but let's make it better. First off, what we're going to do is. I've done the edit, the little edit here. And this is my sequence. So in my film project look, in my film project folder even, I'm going to ch drag this to this little icon here, which gives you a new sequence. And we're going to change the name of that to film look. So there's our film there. But we want this looking more. So what I'm going to do on the sequence, I'm going to hold the Alt key and drag up. This duplicates it. And I'm going to do it again. Next, I've got to go to my effects thing, effects browser, and we're going to look up fast color, fast blur. Now you're probably thinking, well, won't that decrease the quality? Well, what we're going to do, we're actually going to blur between the lines. So if we've got 10,080 lines here, a lot up here, we're going to blur between those. So we're going to change, put fast blur on video two and onto video three. We're going to take away video two from three for the moment. And we're going to select video two and go into our effects and control. Now on here, we want to make sure the dimensions, the blur dimensions, are vertical. And we want to repeat edges. Then we'll take it to around two, two pixels. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to opacity. Get, turn this off. We don't want it fading in and fading out. We're going to change this, our blend mode, to overlay. And there, straight away, you can see the difference in the color. It's more vibrant and really punchy. But we're going to take this down to about 75%. Now, on our top field in video three, again, we change this to two, change this to vertical and repeat edges. Go to our opacity, turn off our little stop watch there. This time we're going to change our uh, blend mode to lighten. And we're going to take this down. Where are we? Let's have a look. Down, ugh, too far. Uh, let's see. Take this to approximately. Let's say about 75%. There you can see a real difference, a real blur, yeah, a real tight, nice colour. We look without it. That's the original footage. You can see the difference straight away with using just that fast blur blurring the lines. What we're going to do now is I'm going to select all. Right click, and we're going to nest them so it looks it so the computer sees it as one clip. This time we're going to put a crop on it. So go into your effects browser and just search crop and in transform crop, put that on there. So at the top, to check to have it look like it's from the cinema, or you see a film from cinema, theatrical things, you want to change that to 14.5 at the top.
top and the bottom 14.5 and there we have it a nice looking film now that there is looking a little bit dark still so what I'm going to do let's get rid of that crop I'm going to go to video effects adjust go to levels You don't have to, when you're using levels, you don't have to adjust all of these. You can, you can close that. You can forget about that for the moment. Just click on the little thing by it. And you get, if you're used to Photoshop, you'll recognize this. So we're just going to bring up, lighten up the um, mid-tones just a little bit. A bit too much. Let's take it down just a little bit. Come back to how it was he halfway in between there uh, there we go it's given her it's given this lady now a little bit of detail in her face as well so i hope this was helpful what we'll do we'll have a quick look at the before and after footage and uh i hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed it like it subscribe because there'll be another tutorial out or next Thursday. I'll soon be coming to the end of doing just Adobe Premiere tutorials. I'm going to cover other angles of um, filmmaking to everything from where to put your camera, how to set up a scene, through to storyboarding. Well, have a great weekend. Bye bye.